it's William with the Riverstone Life out here trying to make a buck. <laughs> yes, folks, I'm out here doing it again. We're in Pennsylvania. Um, had a little extra time. And I was bored today. Robin's playing on the computer, um, sitting around her parents' house, uh, you know. And I'm going to go do another property inspection. Now, I'm pretty sure I talked about property inspections in some of my other videos, and I might even show them, showed everybody me doing one of them, but I've never done them in Pennsylvania until the other day. Um, I work for this company called Velocity REOs, and they uh, I changed my address in the app because I'm spending some time in Pennsylvania now, and I also wanted to learn the area more, um, just in case me and Robin doing this RV life, we start to spend more time in Pennsylvania, then I could do this for some extra income. Um, now, the ones in Colorado are a little different. They're usually in a neighborhood, and they give you about 10 or 15 of them in a neighborhood, and they'll pay like $8.50 to $11 a piece, and you just go drive by those houses, and you know, one right after another, and, and that's how you do them. But here, you're driving a lot more, so this one's, at, you know, 35 minutes away, pays $50. Uh, now, it was the only one I had to do, because the, the other one that I had to make an appointment, but the guy called me back while I was in the process going to do this, this one, and he said I can go right out there and take the pictures on that one too. Now his was just happens to be, um, he's doing a refinance on his house, or trying to borrow some equity out of his property. So I have to go by there and snap some pictures. Um, but then as I, on my way out here, I got another one. So, I mean, that's the way this work usually is. If, if once you accept the job, they'll send you one job just to see if you're actually you know, willing to work and then you accept that job and they'll give you a bunch more and you can turn it into two or three hundred dollars I mean it's gonna turn into hundred and fifty dollars or so for me and I'm gonna go goof off for an hour or so and uh, uh, got me out of the house but you know I throw these videos out there because I always watch in YouTube and people are always like oh if I get into the RV life how am I gonna make a living well here's another way of making a living I mean you you can google these uh, these, these companies online I used to work for a lot of different ones, so there's a bunch of them out there, but just Google um, property inspections, um, drive-bys, uh, occupancy, let me get that right, um, stuff like that. If you use the word occupancy in, I think, when you're searching it, um, I think you'll find more that way, but you can check them on YouTube, you can Google search them for your area and stuff like that, but there's a lot of companies. They've been doing this since 2008. Um, back in back in like 2010 I started doing this stuff and I did it for five or six years did a thousand of them a month and made like 10 grand a month every month folks yes 10 grand a month driving by people's houses snapping three five or seven pictures and that's how I started out and then I got better and better and better and better at it before you knew it I was doing insurance estimates I was doing everything but there's a lot of money to be made in that so if you find these companies you can do the insurance stuff. You don't have to have any education. You just gotta got know how to use a ruler and a tape measure and, and learn percentages and stuff like that. But it's, it's easy. I mean, some of the companies are not even that particular. They uh, have you snap the pictures of everything that's been done and you kind of put your estimate of what you're feeling that what percentage work is done. And then they usually have a professional on the other end that's been doing this for years and years, looks at your work and he might change your percentage a little bit and then submit the order. So you don't have to have that, you know, that kind of knowledge. I mean, I, I, I started before anybody was doing this, so I had a lot of knowledge in that. So people went by what I said over anybody else. So, um, but that was years ago. But I thought I would throw this video out today because um, I know people are always trying to find a way to give up the stick and brick life, live on the road, travel the whole United States and different areas at different times of the year and enjoy it and still make a living. So, you know, you could have one of your, your partner could be working online, working on a computer inside the RV and you could be jumping in your other vehicle, you know, and you could go do this stuff. And, and if you have a big truck and you don't have a smaller vehicle, you know, at your disposal, then you could do the other deliveries and stuff I do. But I thought I'd talk about these property inspections today and uh, you know, it's real easy to do. I'm gonna try to snap a picture. I'm not that familiar with Pennsylvania, but they have a lot of back roads with a lot of people on them. And sometimes these houses are on these busy intersections and stuff, like the ones I did the other day. And they were just hard to actually film myself doing it and snap the pictures and not run somebody over. And you know, you know, I don't wanna risk anybody's life when, you know, just to get it on YouTube type thing. And, um, so it, sometimes it's hard for me to do that. And I'm, 
Colorado, I'd go into a neighborhood during the day when there's nobody even around and drive through these neighborhoods and it was easy for me to do that. But I wanted to throw this out there because anybody that watches our channel and follows us, they know that I deliver packages, I deliver food, I'll deliver anything that pays me a buck. And then if they watch all our videos, they'll see where I've done some property inspections. And now they get to see us doing the packages and stuff. Um, I haven't done any food in this area, but I have done the packages and stuff and, 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 I, and now I'm doing the property inspections. But, um, you know, you can make some money at this. I, in Colorado, they would send me a hundred of these on a weekend. And I could do 50 of these in a day. I go work in the mornings because I wanted to do it in the mornings when people were not out washing their cars, mowing their lawn, in or out there. Because you're not supposed to have pictures of the people in the, you know, in these pictures when you submit them. So I'd get up at like 5:36 in the morning as soon as the sun comes up, and I go drive through these neighborhoods and do like 50 picket, 50 pictures, or 50 different property inspections, and take all the pictures. And I would be done by you know, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock at the latest, and I'd go home, and the next day I'd get up on another Sunday and do 50 more of them. And I made $1,300 working those two mornings just doing those those uh, drive-by uh, property inspections. So there is money in this, folks. Now, the, the bad part about it is you get some areas that don't have a lot of work, and then you gotta rely on something else. But then you'll get an area where they have tons of work, and I've noticed since I've turned this on the last couple days that almost every one of these property inspections pay 40, 50 bucks and yes, I got to drive for 25, 30 minutes, but I'm out in the area and if I wanted to, I could do these in between doing deliveries. I could do some food deliveries in between doing these and you could turn it into a couple hundred dollars in, in you know, every morning and, and make a living if you needed to. So um, that's what this is all about. And I just thought I would throw a video out here today about this because believe it or not, my gig videos, they do pretty good. They, they get about as many um, subscribers and as many views as all of our RV stuff does so I don't know if they're just getting them out you know to the right people or that other market is so saturated and this one isn't is why they do so well so that's why I thought I'd throw this video out here this property is in the middle of nowhere basically I think the local town is Montrose Pennsylvania and in this little bit of video on my phone here since I forgot to bring my GoPro to put on the outside of the Jeep, you can kind of see what we're going into. But look at this, is this is the middle of the sticks. <laughs> and I think the road we're looking for is right up here. There it is. So I did find the right one. So let's turn around and come back here. But yes, we just drove by the house, and I'm going to go up here and turn around. And I got one of my neighborhood pictures already, and I got the street sign on my GPS because there wasn't a street sign on the road. So I used that for my other picture. And now I just got my other, neighbor, my other neighborhood picture. Now we'll go by and snap the pictures of the property. And it shows you how easy this is. side picture we'll up here and get the front picture and get another side picture we got that one and we got that one and we'll get the neighborhood picture that's how easy it is, folks. 50 bucks.